Chapel Notre Dame and Second Life, a recreation of the Cologne Cathedral in Germany, is immense and Gothic in style. It could hold 650 typical American homes, but what makes it a cathedral? Not its architecture, ornateness, shape, or size. Cathedra is Latin for bishop's throne. A cathedral is a church where a bishop of a diocese has his headquarters. Without a bishop, the building is not a cathedral. Most medieval cathedrals were built in Europe from 1000 to 1600 AD, the earliest being based on Roman basilicas and Romanesque in style. By 1100 AD, their architecture became more Gothic. Building a cathedral could take hundreds of years. After a builder's death, the families often had to carry on the work. Medieval cathedrals were used for worship, but also for coronations, important town meetings, christenings, weddings, and funerals. Many saints, bishops, and kings were buried in cathedrals. Cathedrals are built in the shape of a cross with the longer axis facing an east-west direction. The shorter axis runs north and south, meeting at the crossing. There, the steepler dome usually contains bells that announce services or sound an alarm in time of war. The longer axis is the nave. The western end holds the entrance and the font, often a stone basin used for baptisms. The north and south aisles run the length of the nave and are separated from it by columns. The eastern end holds the choir containing the pulpit, the dean's seat, and the bishop's throne. As north represents the devil and south the Holy Spirit, the bishop and the dean face north and south, one shunning the darkness of oblivion and the other inviting salvation and heaven. Farther east, the altar rail leads into the sanctuary and to the altar beyond. The north and south transepts meet the longer axis at the crossing, with chapels usually in each transept. Above the entrance, a round stained glass rose window signifies eternity. The heavy doors remind us of how difficult it is to enter heaven. The windows running along the sides are the clearest story. Looking upward, we see the origins of the word nave, which comes from the Latin word navis for ship, as the vaulted ceilings reminded people of the timbers of a ship's hull. We have Americanized cathedrals by adding pews, replacing the age-old custom that is still observed in some cathedrals today, where worshippers stand during Mass and kneel on the stone floor. Stained glass windows, statues, and paintings were used as picture Bibles for those who could not read. Even today, they remind us of the scriptures behind them. The vertical lines of the cathedral, present literally everywhere we look, lead our eyes and spirit upward toward heaven.